Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari, and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Rangarao Karanam. This video is part of our course, First Steps from Programmer to Software Architect. Welcome back. One of the most important things that you need to understand is why is architecture needed? Let's focus on that in this specific video. If you go two or three decades back, applications which were built were very, very simple. However, over the last two decades, architectures have become complex by the day. Today we talk about cloud, microservices, big data, analytics, everything which makes the architectures much more complex. Today, a single web page that you might be looking at might be delivered by hundreds of systems behind the screens. The other important thing which has changed is device explosion. Earlier, we just had one device which everybody used, a computer or a laptop, but now, there are a number of other devices, mobiles, tabs, Internet of Things. So you need to design your applications to be able to serve all these devices. With the device explosion, as well as the growth of Internet, another thing which has changed is the load, the scale of users that you need to support with your applications. Last but not the least is the technology evolution. The languages, frameworks, tools, processes, everything is changing. So, in this ever-changing dynamic scenario, how do you build applications that serve the business needs today as well as stay relevant a few years down the line? That's the question that architects try and answer. And that's the reason why you need to think about the architecture behind your applications. This quick video, we talked about why you would need architecture. We talked about the fact that systems are becoming distributed by the day. Even a simple web page you might be looking at might be delivered by hundreds of services in the back end. We are serving multiple devices and these devices are increasing by the day. The load on the applications that we are building is growing tremendously by the day. The technology behind building these applications is evolving every day. All these dynamic changes mean that you should put some thought into how you build your applications so that they remain relevant today as well as in the future. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. This video is part of our course, First Steps from Programmer to Software Architect. For more details, look at the link in the description. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 Minutes.